she thinks she know how to hold chopsticks like me. You can't hold chopsticks like me, no. Stop flirting with that lady. I'm flirting with that lady. How you think I'm flirting? That's flirting to you. I'm on my fourth husband. Huh? <laughs> I just did a lot of things very quickly. Yeah. I didn't understand um, knowing, knowing knowledge of self allows you to understand others better. I had no yes. knowledge of self. Yep. You know, yeah. I, um, like I said, I just, if somebody acted like they like me, I was just like, want to get married? Yeah. Hey, want to date? Want to whatever. Which leads me into, you know, the unhealed version of us makes very different decisions yes. than the healed version Doesn't, of us. I know. And sometimes what happens is, is that we have to pay for the decisions that our unhealed version made a, made yeah. for us. Yes. And then we get healed and now we're regretting all this, but that was just part, it was part of, of it. the journey. It was part of it. I don't look back with any regrets. Yeah. No regrets. All right. So my initial reaction is really four husbands. Right. Like it took you four husbands to get to this conclusion. You know, I just wish that she got to this conclusion a lot quicker. Um, and I'll give her some credit here. At least she's, you know, having an open conversation about it. She could have been potentially going through certain things, abandonment issues, just jumping into a relationship. You know, you don't really want to be in a scenario where just because somebody gives you a proposition to be in a marriage or a relationship that you should jump on that situation okay this is why being a whole functioning human being first is important before you actually get into a relationship or a marriage don't be out here collecting the infinity stones of marriages definitely think both because for the longest i told myself like i don't need to be in a relationship until i until this is this way or i don't need to be in a relationship until this is that way there's never gonna be a point where you're like okay now everything is perfect and i can be in a relationship that's not what a relationship is like you're constantly evolving you're constantly bettering yourself your part your person is supposed to call you out on your shit. your person is supposed to encourage you to be a better version of yourself to a certain degree yes you should work to be as whole as possible because two halves trying to be one ain't Gonna, ain't gonna work so you should try to be as whole as possible so that you can operate as one but once you get in that space it's still good to still work on yourself if you can't have a real conversation with your partner okay really sit down and say listen these are the things that we need to improve on this is what i need to improve on this is what you need to improve on for us to get to that next level if you can't sit down and have a real conversation with that person yeah, that relationship is doomed. Y'all going to bed angry and upset. You know, these modern women can't take the brutal truth, right? They want to be told a comforting lie. You look at the whole feminist movement, right? Telling women lies. Um, yeah, if you can't actually sit down and have a real conversation with your partner, that relationship is questionable, okay? It is only a matter of time before things become more difficult. Happy birthday to it. Open your gift. What is it? This is a goddamn 20 ball. <laughs> uh uh, look at it. This is a 20 ball. That's 30. This ain't the. Two, four, six, eight, ten. This is a 30 bar. <laughs> yeah, the IRS is probably watching this doing the Birdman hand rub. Got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> if nobody wants to date single moms, how we all got boyfriends? Somebody is lying on this app because I will have my daughter in my arms and I will have somebody come ask me out. And I just be like, oh, well, like, you know, I got a kid, right? And I'm like, all right, cool. What kind of snacks you like?
hate She thinks she know how to hold chopsticks like me. She can't hold a chopstick like you know. Stop flirting with that lady. I'm flirting with that lady. How do you think I'm flirting? That's flirting to you. Why is flirting to you? Yeah, highly insecure. Okay, these are the same types of women that walk around with a resting B face. Okay. The concept of smiling and being friendly is probably foreign to these types of women. Okay. Nine out of 10 times, he's probably paying for the actual dinner. So I can't actually pay for the dinner and have a good time. Okay. I need to pay for the dinner and sit there in misery. Completely ridiculous. All right, guys, let's check out some of these comments. First commenter says run now. I really hope this was a joke. Next commenter says, I actually like when the guy I'm with is personable and nice to other people. It's not like he asked for her number or was disrespectful. Next commenter says, being so insecure that your man can't talk to the waitress, making a joke is wild to me. Next commenter says, this genre of women are at the bottom of the barrel. Next commenter says he needs to run. This is a major red flag. Next commenter says, I don't know who needs to hear this, but these are the kind of women y'all like. Stop it. Get some help. It's 2024. If you cannot ask that man for a hundred dollars on a spot, it don't matter what it's for. Please stop talking to him. Okay. When you are speaking from the energy of the, the woman who takes care of everything on your own, you are repelling healthy men. You can be totally sufficient on your own right now. A man wants you to be su self-sufficient, AKA not destitute and a bum when he pulls up on you. You can be that, but don't lead with that. And don't bat somebody over the head with that. He expects that you are doing adult things like you have a job, you have transportation, you have a place to live. He expects that at least a, 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 a man that's not a bum himself. So when you lead with like, well, I don't need you to do this, that, and that, that's like, it's just irritating. Yeah, I mean, these modern women want to be praised and worshiped for having a degree. Congratulations, you are a functioning human being, okay? You got an education and you have a job, you pay your bills. <laughs> I mean, that's what every person does in society. Right. You should not be rewarded or have some sort of special treatment because you're doing your adult duties. Guys, I'm going to call a spade a spade. But something that I have noticed as of late is that your everyday walking around woman, most of the people, in fact, that you are seeing on social media are, in fact, now they are literally selling it to the highest bidder and they are advertising that they are selling it to the highest bidder the expectations now is that you empty your entire wallet if you want to have a good time and i suppose if you want a very good time but a short time that might be one way you can go but you're probably not going to want to try to invest much more than that because these women are going to leave you on the drop of a dime don't have a bad day don't get fired from your job don't let something go upside down because they they are not in it if you're not winning it okay that's just where we're at so what I am trying to tell you is if you don't find someone who's humble if you find someone who is always looking for flash always posting their always going above and beyond to talk about the newest the latest the who's got what and who's who in the zoo those are the women you want to avoid you want to avoid them at all costs you want yourself not the i miss independent because they never are it's a lie they're going to bleed you dry you want to find yourself an everyday regular wholesome girl a girl who doesn't pile on a ton of makeup a girl who is happy with who she is a girl who has humble beginnings because at the end of the day those are the ones who are more than likely going to give you a fair shot anything south of that and you're gonna find yourself in the land of baby mama drama all right guys so there you have it okay she is spitting facts and unfortunately that is a sad reality when it comes to the single dating market okay it is an auction as to the highest bidder that's why it's imperative if you're out here looking for a girlfriend or a wife to find a woman that is self-aware she understands the male to woman dynamic when it comes to a relationship okay she's not out here competing looking for attention okay she's not on instagram in front of a camera 24 7 okay she understands that you know she is representing you 
in a relationship. She's not out here thotting and bopping and seeking attention from other guys. At least these videos bring some sort of clarity to you guys. You know, you're not victims at the very least to a lot of the deception that's out here when it comes to the single dating market. At least you guys are more equipped to um, look at the indicators as to, you know, what to avoid. You gotta understand a lot of these modern women, they know a lot of tricks, okay? They know exactly how to reel you in when it comes to your attention, okay? Because a lot of these modern women are using their sex appeal to extract and extrapolate anything that they can when it comes to men. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Go ahead and provide me some feedback. And until next time.